All right. Well, thank you for tuning in. This video will be talking about how DMA Engineering uses a software called SkySpark to optimize occupancy comfort within a space. Um, this is the front page of SkySpark. You can see we've got a number of apps here. Um, it's a building analytics software that uh, uh, connects to the building automation system and all sorts of meeting, metering capabilities within your building. Uh, it pulls that data back, analyzes it, and it can actually generate reports and notify you on uh, the health of your building and how well it's treating its occupants. Um, so for this example, we're looking at a commercial building and we're going to talk about how we use rules to generate sparks. Now a rule uh, is a coded guideline that's unique to your building. Um, and it is uh, the basic guideline for how your building should operate. Uh, these are examples like zones maintaining plus or minus three degrees from a set point or dampers opening in response to a call for heat, all examples of rules. Uh, when these rules are broken, they generate what we call sparks. So looking at this building, these were the sparks generated today. These were all of the rules broken that on uh, specific equipment um, displayed in a timeline for today. Uh, and these, this timestamp over here helps you understand the duration and the timeline that that rule was broken. Um, so looking at this equipment, we've got a repeat offender uh, with a pretty substantial temperature gradient um, or deviation from our heating set point. It's greater than six degrees in our VAV North 207. Uh, it's a specific zone that is substantially colder than it is supposed to be, and it has been that way all day. Now, if we want to dive deeper into that specific equipment, we can jump over into our Historian app. From the Historian app, find the VAV. We'll pull the space temperature and the heating set point in, and we will trend the, that historical data. So this is data from today. We've, we've been there, covered that. Um, let's look at the data from last month. It's been cold for a while now in Denver, and we can see that all month long, this zone has struggled to meet uh, the occupancy set point. Um, even after uh, the resident, whoever was occupying the space, increased the set point from 70 to 75 degrees. Um, now this just uh, shines a light on one of the how powerful SkySpark is and how we can use it to troubleshoot our buildings and make sure that they are um, operating the way they are designed to operate. So going back to uh, the Spark page, um, based on how DMA configures your SkySpark system, we can actually set you up with some suggested corrective actions as well. Um, so here, clicking on this information box, uh, we see that if the zone has no exterior walls, look at increasing the rooftop unit uh, discharge air temperature. And if the zone has exterior walls, inspect the electric wall heaters that are used in the exterior zones uh, to maintain heating set points. Um, and we can, there's a, so much different configuration that can be done in the SkySpark platform. Uh, we can set this up to as email and text notifications as well, so that you don't have to be regularly checking your Spark dashboard uh, on a daily or weekly basis. Uh, so since we are the design team, we do have a copy of this building's drawings. Um, this is the VAV layout for the second floor, the North Building. Uh, and I have highlighted in green VAV number seven. Um, now, based on this piping distribution, it's pretty clear that it is a very much an external zone. And it has uh, a number of subzones or, or cubicles uh, cut up. Um, so based on the corrective actions, uh, we suggest the building owner or building engineering team inspect the uh, electric heaters. Um, now, based on how many cubicles are in this single or fed from this single VAV, we might also suggest adding more thermostats to this VAV and averaging the temperature across. 
Um, and these corrective actions wouldn't necessarily be identified unless SkySpark helped us point them out. Um, so this, that really shows how powerful this software is and how we can use it to get the most out of our buildings and make our buildings better members of society.